today we're going to be going to see the Parliament Hill in Ottawa. Let's go! to a referee, in the sense that, you know, when the debates get too heated, so currently it's Mr. Reagan, so Mr. Reagan will stand up and say, order in the house, so it's first come, first say. So, now I want to bring you guys into We don't even know what caused the fire. But we have many theories. Some people thought, you know, since we were at war with Germany in the First World War, some people were convinced that the Germans came to Canada to burn down the farm. But that's not very likely. Not likely. We have an employee. And we are not, we don't know sure that the fire started in the reading room. And the reading room was a place where we stuffed all the newspapers. So the fire, newspapers, not the best company. And this is how the fire started. And a few things. 
actually made so that the library was safe from the floods. First, we had favorable winds that pushed the flames on that side of the building and not on this side. Second, there was an employee that was working right here. His name was Michael McCormack. And when Michael McCormack saw that there was a fire, he shot the big island door, which are still here today. So when you come out, you'll see them. And yeah, they look like big wooden doors, but this is not on top. And you'll see that they are big, heavy island doors. And third, we also have an amazing fire center that worked all night to save the library from the fire. And so today, we have the chance to admire this library, which gives us a feeling of what the old parliament used to look like. Do you have any questions about the library? The library is from this level up, or there is something on the We have a few levels down as well. So the library from the third floor until you know, a few stories down. Yeah. So we don't have all the books. Yeah, absolutely. So this is white pine. Yeah. So our old parliament was not a book as well. Space on both sides. we have in the parliament. The Senate is where talk about the Centennial Flame. The Centennial Flame is fire which is on top of water and the reason that the water didn't put out the flame is because on top of the flame is a special gas that helps the fire remain on top of the water. The shields around the Centennial Flame are donated from all the provinces and territories of Canada. While you're in downtown Ottawa, there's lots of buildings to look at. You can visit the Parliament Hill, look at museums, and all the buildings there are so cool. showed you guys each and every room and the library there is so so big and we learned so many cool things is right over there and then the east block is there so that's the east block right there where I'm pointing and this is the west block right there these two little buildings and it's really really cool that tower you see from the Parliament is actually a peace tower and in the tower there are 52 bells. The largest bell there at the top weighs about 22,000 pounds. And the smallest one weighs about 10, which is really cool. Because there are 52 bells. And it rings every quarter hour. So 
something really cool about an area or room in the Parliament Hill is that the Senate room, also known as the room where Queen Elizabeth usually goes into, there is one throne and in the throne, there in the throne room or the Senate room, you um, can see a throne where the Queen Elizabeth would usually sit and right next to her is a smaller like throne and since she doesn't go there anymore the last time she sat there was somewhere in 18 something um she's an assistant in canada and you might know her she's a very um very very famous woman and her name is julie payette she is one of the world's first astronauts to go into space which is a woman that is and she is very like very famous and she is the person that would sit on the smaller throne next to the queen which is also really cool l'incarnation de l'esprit et des idées d'un peuple empli d'espoir if we will know something of the future we have only to look at our past
far north, the people thrive in all seasons, in what seems a vast, hostile land. Même là où l'horizon infini semble si hostile, les peuples du nord prospèrent. Thank you. 
was born from the recognition of a common destiny. Partnership and determination bind our country together. Les buts communs nous ont rapprochés. Les partenariats nous ont unis. Il y a trop d'agitation autour de nous, John. It's coming at us from all sides. Yes, there is great unrest among our neighbors to the south. And every exchange with Britain makes it clear we must assert control over our own affairs. Il faut se prendre en main, mais encore, faut qu'ils s'entendent entre nous. Agreed. And at home, political deadlock, petty squabbles, no shared vision. We can't get anything done. Mais comment aller de la fin? How do we move forward? How indeed? Johnny McDonald knew George Etienne Cartier's question was best answered with one word. À la question de George Etienne Cartier, Johnny McDonald n'avait qu'une réponse. Partnership. Le partenariat. In the tradition of Champlain. Yes. Champlain et Tessouat, il y a 250 ans. Algonquin chief Tessouat and Samuel de Champlain both possessed what the other needed. L'intérêt de la collaboration était évident. The people want stability and prosperity. We need to bind this country together. Il faut unir ce pays, Georges. Oui. En travaillant ensemble comme Baldwin et La Fontaine il y a 25 ans, quand ils rêvaient d'un gouvernement responsable. Indeed. All united like Baldwin and La Fontaine when they fought for responsible government. Robert Baldwin and Louis Bolide La Fontaine set the stage one generation before. Like reformers in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, they believed government must be answerable to the people. Hommes du peuple unis par leur vision commune, Robert Baldwin et Louis Bolide La Fontaine ont consacré leur vie à l'obtention d'un gouvernement responsable devant le peuple. Ensemble, ils ont imaginé une assemblée législative formée avec des élus d'ici. They envisioned an assembly elected by its citizens. Peu de temps après, l'idée de la Confédération voit le jour à Charlottetown. In 1864, early promoters of Confederation sailed to Charlottetown, determined to forge a nation. MacDonald, Cartier, George Brown, Thomas Darcy McGee, s'immiscent dans la conférence pour l'Union Maritime et en font changer de cap. After a night of festivities, they charmed their hosts and redirected talks from Maritime Union to their great mission. Une entente de principe est atteinte, s'unir pour mieux se gouverner. After long and passionate debates, general agreement was reached. Un mois plus tard à Québec, on peaufine les détails. Tout est en place pour ériger notre nation. Through hard work and long hours, the principles underlying 150 years of confederation were set. Our constitutional monarchy was created. Quests are real and 
imagine voyages of discovery. Réel ou rêvé, toute quête nous fait voyager. To early explorers like John Cabot and Jacques Cartier, this meant finding the courage to face the unknown on the vast ocean. Au-delà du vaste océan, des peuples et des richesses inimaginées attendent Cabot et Cartier. On the East Coast, seafaring adventurers found peoples and riches untold. Separated by 200 years, neither Henry Hudson nor John Franklin realized their dream, finding a northwest passage to the riches of the East. Hudson and Franklin vont au-delà d'eux-mêmes pour tenter de trouver le passage du Nord-Ouest. Captain George Vancouver witnessed unparalleled natural beauty while mapping on the Pacific coast late in the 18th century. He encountered prosperous, sophisticated societies. En cartographiant le Pacifique, George Vancouver va au-delà des idées retenues et découvre des sociétés d'une richesse insoupçonnée. Explorers, like La Vérandry, often followed well-established trade routes cut by generations of Aboriginal travelers. C'est grâce aux connaissances des Autochtones que La Vérandry explore l'Ouest. En voulant réussir où d'autres ont échoué, que Mackenzie découvre accidentellement un grand fleuve. What Mackenzie finds in the far north is spectacular. The sprawling estuary of a great river that today bears his name. All aboard! Le chemin de fer transcontinental nous a permis de traverser les montagnes et d'unir le pays. We tied Canada together with two ribbons of steel. Charles Edward Saunders' hardy, fast-maturing wheat and the dedicated work of Western farm families brought prosperity to the prairies and food to the world. A nouveau blé développé par Charles Saunders permet aux familles de l'Ouest d'apporter prospérité aux prairies et de nourrir la planète. Canada has been modest in its history, although its history is only commencing. Le 20e siècle appartiendra au Canada. Reconnu pour avoir ouvert nos horizons sur l'Ouest, Sir Wilfrid Laurier voyait grand. Sir Wilfrid Laurier was struck, like so many before and after him, by the potential for greatness in our northern nation. Laurier's vision is supported today by the Canadian Rangers, who keep a watchful eye on our Arctic territories. The Rangers Canadiens veille aujourd'hui sur nos territoires du Nord. À sa façon, Alexander Graham Bell était aussi un grand explorateur. Alexander Graham Bell brought us closer with the invention of the telephone and the flight of the Silver Dart, the first powered aircraft to fly in Canada. Ses inventions ont été ses inventions ont été réveillées toutes les générations et changé le monde à jamais. Oh, 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 oh. Mastery of the air, assured mastery of our expansive and expanding territory. At a Pokémon design, we have already crossed the frontier of our imagination, defied our gravity, and attained the space of possibilities of the unknown. Our strength as invaders and our thirst for adventure has thrust the Canadian spirit beyond the bounds of gravity into the boundless possibilities of space.
1914, war engulfs Europe. Canada stands determined with Britain and the Allies. The mud, the trenches, the horrors of the First World War raised the hope it would be the war to end the war. La guerre de 14 est la guerre des guerres. Ces horreurs sont telles qu'on espérait qu'elle soit la dernière. Tell all our friends that the first Newfoundland is okay. We'll make you all proud. We're out of the trenches, trained, 